So we've created the item number parameter in our tags and or in our families and in our project. But the third thing you're going to need this parameter in is your annotation tags. So I'm just going to click a tag and edit it. And if you've never built a tag before, really, they're just one label. Um, a, a label allows you to link a parameter in from a shared parameter file, actually, um, so that you can basically tag data that is in a family file inside of a project. So you have to use shared parameters for tags, or you can use the type mark parameter or the mark parameter or another one of the standard Revit parameters. So we're going to click edit our label. And you can see here, I already have the item number parameter. But if I didn't have it here, what you would do is click this guy right here to add parameter. Um, as you can see, you have to be shared parameter, so it will already be selected. And then you would press select. And you'd go to identity data. If you didn't see this screen, you just have to search FCSI shared parameters and download the shared parameter file to get to this screen and just load it in here. And then identity data, we're going to click item number and press OK. And this will pre-fill out to common text um, just because that's defined in the shared parameter file. So press OK. That'll add the item number parameter. We use this green arrow to, to bring it over. And that is how you add the item number parameter to a annotation tag.